Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I'm going to teach you how to sew a neckband onto a t-shirt. Please like this video and follow my page for lots of fun sewing projects. I'm going to teach you two different methods for sewing a neckband onto a t-shirt. One is the flat method and one is the method in the round. Let's get started. I have decided to use two different fabrics while I'm sewing um, these neckbands so that you can tell which one is which while I'm working with them. This gray one is going to be the flat method where um, this is the neckband. I have not sewed the short ends together. It's just um, a straight rectangle. And then on the neckline, I have sewed one shoulder seam right here and I have the le left the other one open so that I can sew the neckband on right here. This white one, I have sewed both shoulder seams so that the neck is now um, a circle, it's enclosed circle. And the neckband, I have actually sewed this seam already so that um, it is a tube and it can be sewed onto this circle. I usually use this um, method in the round just because I find it easier to use with a serger when I'm only using a serger. Both methods can be done with a serger and both method methods can be done with a sewing machine. This one is a little bit easier to do with a sewing machine since you have a little more control. You can get your fingers closer to the needle as you're sewing. and. Um, this one works really well with the serger because you just kind of pop it in and sew quickly. The only way you can tell the difference between the two, if you were, if someone was wearing it and you were looking at it, you can't really tell the difference except that when you sew flat, you just see a little tack. And then if you look inside, you can see that the seam goes through this neckband right here. I most often see this method in um, ready-to-wear t-shirts that you buy at the store. Um, the sewing in the round is maybe a little bit harder and a, um, a little bit slower process, so I usually see it on handmade clothing or on really well-made, you know, high-quality clothing that you buy at the store. I am going to start with the gray t-shirt and the flat neckband method. So what you're going to do first is you are going to fold your neckband in half and you are going to press this so that there is a fold right down the center of this neckband. This has been pressed and now we are going to pin the neckband to the neckline. So I start by pinning one side, this is, you know, the short end, that's the raw cut edge. This is the fold over here, and I'm pinning this corner right here. And then I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to twist the neckband, but I'm going to, if I were to straighten this neckline so that it is not um, curved so much. Then I take this other side of the neckband right here. This is the fold and these are the two raw edges and I'm going to match it up with this other shoulder seam at the neckline. And you can see I did not twist it so that's flat. You always got to check that you don't want to be sewing and have that problem. And then what you're going to do is you are going to match up the center of the neckband with the center of this neckline. So what I like to do is I bring these corners together and I pull this out and it's not, you're not going to match it up with the shoulder seam. You're just kind of going to feel where the middle of this neckline is and then you find the middle of your neckband like this and then we're going to pin that together so 
So if I pull that back out, so then I go through the neckline and I just keep dividing it and pinning it in the middle so that the neckband is distributed evenly onto the neckline and it will pull that neckline in. When you cut through knit fabric, it tends to stretch out and grow. And so when you have a, a neckband that is slightly smaller than um, the measurement of the neckline, that will help bring it in and um, so that it doesn't, you know, gap or pull open. So if you see, let me flip this over, you can see that this is where the neckline is slightly larger than the neckband, and we are going to stretch the neckband as we sew which will make the neckband be the same um, length as the neckline. Now both of these methods can be done um, with a sewing machine and with a serger. For this example, I'm going to be sewing it on my sewing machine and then I will be serging it after. I just want you to know that you can sew knit fabric without, uh, sew or without a serger. It is possible, so that's why in this example, I'm going to be um, demonstrating on my sewing machine. So when you're sewing the neckband, you don't want the neckband to be pulled away from this edge. So first, I'm just going to sew with a zigzag right here at the beginning. I start by back stitching, and then I grab onto this thread. So I come in a little bit, I'm going to leave the needle down, then I'm going to hold the thread with my left hand since there's no fabric to hold, and I'm going to pull with my right hand. I'm pulling on the neckband which is underneath, you can't see it, but you can see that this is now smooth because I've pulled the neckband to fit that, and I'm pulling with the front and the back and I'm letting it be pulled through the machine. I'm not pulling it through the machine. It's going the speed that mach the machine wants it to go. It's mostly just using my front and back hand to keep this neckband stretched to fit the neck line. So we get to the next one. Now I have fabric back here that I can hold on to. So I'm going to hold fabric to fabric and pulling that neckband to fit and then I'm letting it go through the machine. I have the neck band sewn on. Um, you can see this is my seam allowance. I'm going to go through and I'm going to press and I'm going to press this seam allowance down towards the body and away from the neck band. The neck band looks so much better after pressing it. Now that it's pressed, um, I'm going to go along and top stitch. I'm going to top stitch one eighth of an inch away from this seam and it's going to secure this seam allowance. Um, towards the body, um, just like the way we pressed. So go all the way around doing that top stitching. So the last thing to do with this flat neck band is that we need to sew these shoulder seams together. So I'm going to match this up right sides together and I'm going to be really careful about matching up this, these two seams of the neck band. You want it to look really 
you want it to match really well so it looks um, nice and professional. So I'm matching up this carefully and then I'm matching up the rest of the shoulder like this. And then when you sew, you're going to sew all the way across. So I have sewed I have sewn the seam and I have serged it. I left a little tail right here. To finish um, this, you want to tack this seam so that it looks, um, you can't tell that you sewed it this way. So I'm going to turn this right side out. And this is the back of the shirt. So I'm going to tuck this serger tail back like this and I'm going to bring that top up so the seam allowance is pointing towards the back of the t-shirt and I'm going to pin this just so that I can keep that neckband um, coming up and hiding that seam allowance and then you're going to go through and you're just going to do a little tack um, just a couple stitches to sew that in place. Now I'm going to show you how to sew a neckband um, in the round when the neckline is already closed up and the neckband has been sewn so that it is a tube. So you can see that both of these shoulder seams have been sewn and I have sewn this seam on the neckband. So the first thing to do is to fold your neckband in half and you're going to fold it and you're going to iron it, press it in place so that fold is nice right there in the middle of the tube. Now to match up this neckband with the neckline, we're going to divide the neckline into four equal sections and we are going to divide the neckband into four equal sections. I like to start by pinning one right next to um, this seam because I usually put that um, at a shoulder seam so I like to have control over that and then I pull my neckband like this and I match or I put a pin over here in the other side then I match these two pins together in the middle like this and then each side will also get a pin So that has been divided into four and then I'm going to do the same to the neckline. So I'm going to start by putting a pin right here at the shoulder seam. Then I'm going to pull this neckline so that I find the opposite side and I put a pin in. Then I match up these two pins and then each side pull out and put a pin in. So that's how you get four equal sections. Now I go through and I match up these four pins with these four pins. So I start over here on this side so that this seam of the neckband can match up with this seam um, this shoulder seam. So I'm matching that up. I take both pins out and just put one pin back in. And then you match up. But see how my neckband is twisted right now? You've got to make sure that your neckband 
is not twisted when you're pinning it on because it will give you a big problem when you are sewing. Now that I've done those four pins, I stretch the neckband to fit the measurement of the neckline and then I go through and I pin in between so that um, it's easier to go to sew because I've um, you know distributed distributed the extra um, length of the neckline I've distributed that throughout the neckband Now I'm going to, I have a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine and I am going to do the same thing where I stretch the neck pen to fit the neckline. Um, I like to look at the neckline as I'm sewing instead of the neck band so that I can make sure that nothing is um, getting puckered or gathered as I'm sewing. So I'm going to start sewing. I use my right hand to pull the neckband from the front and I use my left hand to pull the neckband from the back. And I'm just pulling the neckband enough to fit to match. And then I'm going to sew all the way around. Now that this neck band has been sewn onto the neckline, I'm going to go through and press and I'm going to press this seam allowance out towards the body. You want it to be pressed away from the neck band. The neck band looks so much better after being pressed. It's nice and flat as it can be since you know your shoulders are at an angle. Now that it's pressed, you're going to go around and you're going to top stitch. Um, one eighth of an inch away from this seam and I'm going to top stitch the seam allowance right here towards the body just like the way we pressed and we're going to top stitch all the way around the neckline So those are the two different ways you can sew the neckband into the neckline of a t-shirt. This is the Union Street Tee um, sewing pattern by Hey June Patterns. It's one of my favorite patterns and I use it all the time. This is the, my go-to t-shirt pattern when I want to make a t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you learned lots about sewing a neckband onto a t-shirt. If you have any questions about sewing a neckband or sewing knit fabric, please ask them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. I hope you have a wonderful day.